I got this question from a viewer and a lot of people actually asked this, uh, how much math do I need to know and how much math did you use in your cloud engineering and software engineering job? I suck at math. This is pretty much like most people's sentiment um, who are interested in getting into tech, whether or not it's like IT, cybersecurity, or especially software engineering. So uh, I think I can speak to it pretty well. If you don't already know me, my name is Josh Matacor. I'm a cybersecurity professional, but I've worked in IT, well, like system admin side of IT, as well as some software engineering roles. Have a lot of experience. I've done a lot of job hopping and I make a lot of content uh, for people helping them to break into IT or cybersecurity. So basically, um, like I said, I've worked at all of these like different roles and I'll kind of answer for each one. So basically, just in general, right? I think you, you should probably know like basic algebra, but I will say like in cloud and like just general IT in cloud, I, I ain't use like any math at all but maybe knowing some hexadecimal once in a while it just really depends on your job role so i did cloud support engineering um, at microsoft for microsoft intune which is like their mobile device management platform you ain't needing any math whatsoever for that at all and as far as my sysadmin jobs like i had i've had this subnet but like really rarely and that's using binary math and when you're on the job, like you can just use like Google or a calculator or something. You don't need to be like doing mathematics all day, to be honest. And for computer science, um, like my coding role, there's a lot of different tiers to coding. Like you can be like a super elite, like optimization of like big data and like crazy operations at Google or something. Or you could be like making device drivers for NVIDIA or like doing some crazy, like low level machine learning programming or something like that. But for like general, like software engineering, like designing software and, you know, dealing with like authentication flows and APIs. You don't you don't really need any math beyond like basic algebra and some like really basic discrete mathematics like when it comes to um, sets and stuff like that. It's really basic math to be honest. And I think most people will probably say this. And WGU specifically has a distinction. They have like a computer science degree and they have a software engineering degree. And the computer science degree requires up to in integral calculus and some uh, differential equations. Um, I have that degree. And then, and they have like discrete math uh, two, which is somewhat difficult. And then they have the software engineering degree, which I believe they only have discrete math one, which is very reasonable for software engineering. And I believe like only up to algebra, per, maybe pre-calculus, but it's, it's not, it's really, really, really manageable. So you don't need a crazy amount of math. Like you can make, you know, you can make several hundred thousand dollars a year doing cybersecurity or some kind of coding without knowing anything beyond like eighth grade math, to be honest with you. But I will say it's kind of, it's good. Um, this is like kind of going outside of the scope of the viewer's question. This is just me talking, but it's good to learn calculus and like differential calculus and integral calculus because it really, it really does like change the way you think about the world and the way stuff is like, uh, you can be like, um, like the rate of change, like and decelerating and accelerating. It just, I think about it all the time after after learning calculus, right? And same with physics. I like kinematics. If you learn it a bit, like just like Khan Academy level, it really changes the way that you think and changes the way you view a lot of things in life on your day to day. At least for me, it has. It's just not super relevant when it comes to work. And if you're interested, well, I, I should be careful. It depends on like what you're doing, but for most things like I've I've had corporate jobs up to making like 180k base like cash salary. Uh, that was like the most you know the most basic of mathematics. Um, but you know physics calculus it's really good and it, it will it will change your brain chemistry if you learn it to a certain extent. But it's not um, really required for work. And I, I will say like on that topic um, if you're familiar with data structures and algorithms and like Lee code and all of that. The last job I was doing um, kind of software engineering mixed with cybersecurity. I was coding exclusively in Python. And the most the most difficult thing I ever did at work probably was like uh, maybe like an elite code level medium. Everything is like really easy. And the difficulty with coding comes with understanding the complexity of the systems in place. It, it's not like usually at work, it's not like, oh, I have to like use Dijkstra's algorithm for something. Like I'd never use any of those algorithms. The most I, I probably ever used was, 
I don't think like the nested for loop and maybe some like complicated hash utilization, like hash table utilization, and that's not even like hard. So when you actually when you're actually working, it's really unlikely you're going to use any complicated discrete mathematics calculus algorithms or, or any of that. For software engineering, it's important to know so you can pass your interview, which I can kind of understand. But for general math, um, just you know, basic algebra is probably good enough. I hope this helps. <laughs>